All right, we are joined right now by the 2020-2021 Female Scholar Athlete of the Year for the Great Midwest Athletic Conference, Gabrielle Post, and head cross country and track and field coach, Alaric Best. And uh, first off, Gabby, uh, congratulations on this, this huge honor uh, for your academic success the, this year that you have. Thank you. Um, and Coach Best, starting starting with you, um, you know, you, You've had Gabrielle now on your team and in your program for a couple of years. Uh, what has she meant to your program from a leadership standpoint um, uh, that you've seen in, in her development since she's been a part of the Ursuline program? Yeah, I think she's been a, a great leader. She actually came from uh, LCC, a community college in the area, um, and honestly jumped right in as, as a junior and did really, really well, um, kind of handling you know, the transition from obviously a two-year school to a four-year school. Um, obviously, you know, academically, you know, obviously she jumped in and did really, really well there. Um, and then from a team standpoint, you know, she was a great leader, you know, right away, you know, helped our young women uh, in cross country and then that transition to the indoor and outdoor track season. But since her time here, she's been, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal. And then she's um, just been an ultimate leader for us and someone that the girls can go to and um, about anything. And that's always a good thing when it's about both athletic and academics. <laughs> And Gabrielle, for you, what was that transition like going from the two year to the four year academically? Um, what 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 did you have to change in your your maybe your studying habits or your approach to academics, or has it always just been the same for you since the the beginning of you starting school? Um, I did the same thing I pretty much did at community college. I always keep a planner of everything, make sure I turn everything in on time. And this year being obviously different because of COVID and, you know, we had some classes that went remote and some were, on, you know, online only, some were in person. How did that change? Obviously, if you're well organized and your, your time management is good, that, that obviously helps. But did that have any effect on you or maybe your teammates that you were able to kind of help them through a little bit with the way you approach things? I had to write down like which meetings for Zoom, like when those were and Learning online was definitely more challenging to sit through a class at home with distractions. Um, my parents are both teachers, so they'd be at my house teaching and I would hear my siblings Zoom calls. So all these Zoom calls were going on at once. So yeah. A lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then for, for you kind of going forward, um, you know, many, some people may know this, some people may not, but you're actually continuing your academic career. You're going to be back next year and your athletic career as well in our, our four plus one program for education. So what is your, you said both your parents are teachers. So obviously that kind of is a foreshadow into what, what you want to do, but um, what ultimately do you want to do after your graduation? Yeah, I'm going into Ursuline's four plus one education program. So I'll earn my master's of education and I'll be licensed for seventh to 12th grade English language arts. Um, and I just passed, I found out I both, I passed both of my licensure exams for that, so. Well, there's more breaking that. news right there. We're yeah. just dropping, <laughs> congratulations <laughs> on that as well. So um, what kind of motivation, obviously with your parents both being teachers, um, was that just something that you always knew you wanted to do or was that something that they helped you along with in the, in the process? Um, I definitely was influenced by them they were role models to me but I remember being younger always wanting to like play teacher and then when I went to high school I had um, a high school English teacher that I really admired and I wanted to be like that and I really enjoy English in that subject so Awesome. And Coach Best, I know for you, since you've been here, um, you know, the, the, there's been several academic awards from the conference, uh, individuals, your team awards uh, for both cross country and, and track and field. Um, how important is that in, in your approach in, in recruiting somebody like Gabrielle? Um, how important is the academic side of things, uh, especially for at Division Two for a student athlete in your process? Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, the education part, the academic part is the most important thing. Um, I really even when designing training programs and things like that, you know, I tell athletes, you know, when I'm recruiting them that, you know, your academics is going to be the most important thing. So I literally tell them during the recruiting process, you don't get your workouts every Sunday. So you could kind of plan around it. And I think hopefully, you know, that has helped a little bit with Gabrielle's success as well with our team success. 
Um, and it's definitely hard, you know, with Gabrielle um, being a distance runner, being a cross country, indoor and outdoor uh, student athlete, um, just because, again, our season is through the whole year. So, you know, with some sports, you can, you know, you got the fall and then at least you have some time to focus on your academics. Um, but with us, you know, with her doing cross country, you know, in season and then you going into during the winter time, you got indoors and then you go to the outdoor se season, you have no time to take a break you got to stay on your toes you know both academically and ath athletically and obviously she's done a great job with that and for our program you know we look for athletes you know who can do well uh both you know academically and then obviously athletically as well and, and gabrielle for you now kind of looking back on it now now that you're a, a, a veteran of this academic stuff and <laughs> going into the, the the four plus one program um what's some of the best advice that you could give somebody watching this who might be a a junior in high school or a senior in high school, and they're maybe it's not track or cross country that they're coming to do, but they're going to college to to play a sport, or they want to go to college to to play a sport. What's some of the best advice that you could give them um, as they make that transition at the the collegiate level? Um, stay organized and remember why you're in school. You're in school for your classes, but you have an amazing opportunity to continue playing or continue your athletic career so take advantage of it because not many athletes um get that opportunity for a college career great perfect well once again congratulations on being named the uh, 2020 2021 uh great midwest female scholar athlete of the year and uh we wish you all the success uh going into the master's program and into next year's cross country and track season as well Thank you.